Let's talk about electron configurations in the D block. So when you're in the D block, just a reminder that when you are going into the D block, your value of N goes down by 1, right? So only when you enter the D block. So for instance, if we were doing iron, when we're going across, we're going into 4S2, then it's 3D, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So using the shorthand notation or the long notation, you're still going to represent that. 4S2, 3D6, or argon, 4S2, 3D6. Now there are four exceptions in the D block that you need to know for Chem 1120 and Chem 1130, and they are chromium and molybdenum and copper and silver. All right, let's talk about the chromium molybdenum example first. So I pick chromium and molybdenum together because they are directly underneath each other. All right, so chromium you would expect 4S2, 3D4, right, because chromium's right here, so it'd be 4S1, 2, 3D1, 2, 3, 4, right? That's what you would expect. But what you actually observe is you get 4S1, 3D5. And the reason for that is a quantum mechanical answer that we really don't want to spend forever discussing, but you just need to know that this is an exception. All right, from a quantum mechanical perspective, it is more stable to have the D block, and I accidentally drew too many electrons here, completely half filled. All right, there we go. From a quantum mechanical perspective, it is um, more stable to have the D block completely half filled. So what happens is one of these electrons from 4S gets stolen and dumped over here in 3D. So now that the D block, the 3D is half filled completely. And that's more stable from a quantum mechanical perspective. And that's really all that you need to worry about for Chem 1120 and Chem 1130. You can get into the specifics of um, the quantum mechanics when you take future chemistry classes. Now with uh, copper and silver, so copper and then silver being directly underneath it, right? you would expect 4S2, 3D, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, correct? That's what you expect, 4S2, 3D, 9. But what you observe is 4S1, 3D, 10. And again, the answer comes from quantum mechanics. It's more stable to have the D block completely filled as opposed to one away from being filled. So one of these electrons from 4S becomes stolen by the D block, and um, that gives the D block a completely filled um, configuration, which is more stable from a quantum mechanical perspective. This would apply to molybdenum, right? The only difference between molybdenum is that the value of N is going to be uh, increased, and it would also apply to silver. Again, the value of N is just increased. And those are the four exceptions that you need to worry about in the D block for Chem 1120 and Chem 1130.